If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning. Cardado family, it's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss a Boomin video. Get these videos daily. You don't want to miss them. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. And we're back with another Project Catalyst proposal. I think you guys enjoy these. So let's talk about another project coming on Cardano. And we love Project Catalyst. For a few reasons. Number one, Project Catalyst is the biggest DAO in crypto, decentralized autonomous organization, completely owned by us. Anybody can vote for these projects on the Cardano blockchain. And if these projects get passed through all these stages of curating, review, proposals, more review, voting, then they get funding to build their product on the Cardano blockchain. The biggest DAO <laughs> in crypto, guys. This is insane. People don't talk about Project Catalyst like they should. And this is one of the best reasons why I think I'm a Cardano Maxi. It's because of Catalyst. It's because of the real fi uh, opportunities that we have here. We could build Cardano. We could shape it any way we want to. Not Charles, not IOG, not the Cardano Foundation, but us, that is the key. So let's take a look at this, guys. This is a Ethereum and Cardano Web3 wallet again. What does Charles Hoskins say? We're in the third, fourth generation of crypto. We're in the fourth generation of crypto, and it's extremely important that we um, understand what that is. That means that we are in the interoperability era of crypto. Okay, bridging blockchains together, bringing Ethereum and Cardano and Solana and VeChain all together, Binance Smart Chain, merging them. So this is a this is a new wallet called NuFi. We've talked about them before. Um, NuFi Web3 wallet will allow users to import existing Ethereum wallet, connect to DApps on Ethereum, Milkometer, and Cardano from one wallet, and connect DApps from different accounts simultaneously. NuFi, a non-custodial multi-chain wallet, is powered by Vacuum Labs, the company behind Ada Light, Wing Riders, Cardano Dex, and Jam on Bread CNFT Marketplace. So you guys know I love Wing Riders, even though they had a little hiccup a couple weeks ago. I still think they're a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool uh, project, pretty cool developers over there. And the developers for Cardano apps for Ledger, Trezor Hardware Wallets, as well as your Roy mobile app. So this is a new Fi guys, pretty cool. They're requesting about ninety-seven thousand uh, dollars for their project, and uh, they're talking about the Great Migration here, the Ethereum Great Migration, where the Ethereum fees have gotten so high that you're going to start to see more and more projects migrate and integrate into Cardano. Many of the proposals that address the Great Migration naturally focus on encouraging Ethereum-based projects to migrate Cardano. However, NuFi's proposal focuses on the project existing user base who, to engage with the project after it migrates with Cardano, must first migrate their assets, then manage their assets on multi-chains thereafter. If this process is not simple, the project can expect significant user drop-off along the way, making a migration to Cardano less appealing. That is true. So, they seem to have a plan for a multi-chain non-custodial wallet. NuFi solution improves the Ethereum to Cardano cross-chain experience for non-technical users by providing a single non-custodial Web3 wallet that supports the Ethereum Mokamata accounts needed for asset migration, connects all accounts to a bridge where assets can be migrated, and allows for multi-chain asset management and multi-chain dApp connectivity. And it goes on down to how that's going to happen. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I'll be here every day, uh, all day, stumbling over my words. But uh, non-technical users can enjoy a cross-chain experience that is frictionless, 
seamless and fast. Post migration, these users benefit from being able to manage multi chain accounts, assets side by side, in a single wallet capable of connecting dApps on each of the three blockchains. In addition, users will be able to connect their new Fi wallet dApps to a different blockchain at the same time without the need to switch blockchain accounts in the dApp connector. So this is actually pretty cool, guys. Um, I'd recommend you guys check it out. I can leave the link in the description below or retweet something on Twitter. Um, I'd highly recommend you guys go ahead and take a look at this if you guys are interested in this. And once it releases, I'll probably do another breakdown anyway. But I wanted to get this into your brain. Go ahead and vote for it if you can as well. They have a short video here. Let's take a listen. So newfi.com, guys, go ahead and take a look at it. Let's go ahead and move on quickly. Thank you to OneCom, ticker symbol, what's the OMM? Really appreciate them for sponsoring the channel. Uh, I did a video, check out my VeChain video I posted earlier. Talked about how crypto interest is down about 55% <laughs> from last year, obviously it is. Uh, due to price being down, people once the price goes down, people just forget about it, and you know it's like the whole the other two years didn't exist <laughs> for some reason. But they'll be back once the price comes back up. Uh, but with that being said, it's harder for stake pool operators to stay afloat during these tough times. So please consider delegating to your favorite stake pool operator i choose one com one com ticker symbol one c o m m zero percent fees until at least the end of december 2022 for all existing and new delegators moving on some good news here guys about 50 percent of the needed spos have upgraded to 1.35.3 vassal is getting closer every day don't forget you need about 75% of the SPOs to upgrade to the new version 1.35.3 before Vassal will be implemented. So definitely exciting. Vassal is coming sooner than you think. We just need to get the SPOs upgraded and everything tested and working properly. Let's go ahead and move on. Kraken has announced that Cardano ADA is supported as collateral cryptocurrency on its futures platform. So soon you'll be able to trade futures on Kraken Exchange. It's pretty cool. Cardano, one of the leading proof of stake protocols can now be used for getting exposure to dozens of cryptocurrency futures contracts. Be careful with futures guys. Now more than ever, it's really, really hard to time to market. So just keep that in mind. And that's it. That's all I have for you today, guys. I thought I had more, but it looks like that is it. I love you guys so much. Don't let your memes be dreams. I will talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Have an amazing day. Goodbye. Guys, thank you so much for enjoying another booming video. I want to give a special shout out to our wonderful Patreon subscribers, Maryland for Crypto, American Home Remedies.com, Fruz Den, Kyle Bachi, Crypto SI, Angel Topia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson, the second. Kraken, All Flail LLC, and Lucky Sunshine Token. Thank you again, guys, for your wonderful support. I really, really appreciate it, and I do these for you. Keep chopping wood, guys. We are all going to make it. Have an amazing day.